What do you hear? What do you say? It's another Roblox day and I'm here in the legendary world of Piggy Book 2. And yesterday we had an amazing Halloween update. One new skin and one new trap were released yesterday. But you might be wondering what I'm wearing here. This is the new witch skin. And I think uh, the skin next to me is called Crowy or Scarecrow. And I'm going to teach you by the end of this video how to get these two skins as well. So keep watching watching everybody but first i'll give you a small introduction you may already know how to get the other skins and traps and we're going to go in this map here and we're going to go ahead and put skelly together first i'm going to reset to my regular character and so i'm not a pig and then we're going to show you how to get these two skins but first make sure you leave a like on this video hit subscribe turn on notification bells and check out my links in the description as i give away roblox through my groups and discord all the time so let's get busy people and let's find the first skin which is the crow skin and we will find the trap which is the uh, grave trap, which is one of the best traps they've ever done. It's a trap you set, a grave, a tombstone comes out of the ground, and it starts spawning zombies. It's insane, bro. Let's check it out. All right, first thing you want to do when you drop in, and I got magic. I hit my Wi-Fi and V all in here with me. Uh, some of my staff that always helps me. Uh, sometimes when you come over here, you find a leg. So you got to look for all these bone parts. What we're doing right now is the trap first. We're going to do the trap, and we're basically looking for a bunch of bony parts. Uh, go I think they've picked them up already. And, ooh, we got a bot chasing us right now. Now, I know in this back room back here, once we get the screwdriver, there's going to be a head. There's going to be a head right here. Let me see if I can find some. Also, a good place to look for them is in these closets right here. You should have a leg in this closet right here. You guys picked them up already. All right. Usually there's a leg right there. Let me go see Skelly. It looks like the crew here has already put most of it together. Uh, all right. Also a good spot right here by the washing machine. You're going to find an arm. All you do is pick it and it automatically assembles it for you. You don't actually have to take it over to Skelly and put them together. Now I'm going to show you where Skelly is. Skelly's just sitting over here all by himself. Yes, we got everything but the head, which the last item is going to be uh, in the room with the screwdriver before the exit. So we, we found body, leg, leg, arm, arm. Now we just need the head. Let's get the screwdriver and we'll show you where the head is. And then after that, a rose is going to appear in the hotel room section. In the hotel, not the hotel lobby, but the hotel room section, a rose is going to appear. We don't actually, you don't actually need the exit to get this uh, trap. You don't actually have to leave. You just got to do it before the timer runs out. First number is eight, but that's not really important because we're not trying to leave. Uh, I got bought. Another good place to find things is over here. Usually one of the legs or the body is behind this post over here. Really good area to find something. Oh, this bot, leave me alone. Okay, I got yellow key. We're heading back to a safe in the laundromat. This should be the item that we need. All right, screwdriver. All right, we got a screwdriver. Let's go. Okay, head to the final door to get the final piece, which should be the head of Skelly. Once we have the head, then you're going to run to... Now, on this game, you, it's a team effort, but only one person can actually get the trap. So there's the head. We're going to go ahead and pick the head. And then we're going to run over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Watch out. Uh, we're going to run over to the hotel rooms, and you should see a rose. Now, whoever picks this rose is going to get the trap. And there it is. There's the rose. You're going to pick the rose. And then you do have to run to Skelly at this point, and you have to give Skelly the rose. And then you're all done. Now, I've already completed it, so I already have this badge. But you're going to pick his hand, and boom, puts the rose in there, and he's going to fall through the ground. And then you're going to see a badge pop up, and that tells you you have the trap. And that is how you get the special trap. On the next game, what I think I'll do is uh, maybe, hopefully I'll be Piggy, and I will display this trap. Uh, we could actually get out of here and get the coins if you guys want. No? Anybody want coins? Nobody cares? Ah! All right, here we go. This is how you get the skin. You're going to go to Forest in, in Book 1. 
You're gonna go to Forest and book one, and this is the skin you're gonna get. It is uh, a creepy teddy bear Slenderman type thing. I'm not. It's called Stitch because he has stitches. He's been stitched up, and he's pretty evil. And you see here, you got these candles. You're gonna collect all five of these candles. In fact, the easiest one to find is actually right behind the the place where all the candles are gonna be placed. So all you do is click it, and then it automatically spawns the candles. There's gonna be five of them. And then after you spawn all the candles, you got to get the torch. But here's the trick. Do not go get the white key with the torch. Do not use the torch. Light the torch and then run to the candles first. And then what's going to appear is some kind of seance in purple. And Stitch is going to appear. This actual skin right here is going to appear. And then you got to lead him to the cave. And after you lead him to the cave, he's going to disappear into another portal and that is going to give you this skin at that point now you don't actually have to leave the map just like the last one all you got to do is get stitch to come out of the seance portal and you got to lead them to the other one in the cave and that's pretty much it okay these are probably the best traps ever made right here watch this Boop. you get a set of tombstone and, and then from the tombstone here comes a zombie <laughs> Oh, watch out, Mr. Banana Guy. You're going to get killed by the zombie. Now, at some point, he will disappear. But he's going to track you pretty far. This is why I think it's almost like you've changed the game completely. Yep, he, he tracks for a few minutes, and then he disappears. So you can set traps wherever you want. And that's a one-time use trap. As you can see, now the trap is gone. The trap is gone. Now, if you want to troll people, here's a really good idea to troll people. Check this out. This is not a trap. This is just a regular tombstone. So if you line up right here and you just set a trap, they won't know the difference. And they may walk by it, not understanding that that's a trap. And then boom, <laughs> then the, the zombie comes out. The zombie comes out and he, and he starts chasing them. That's pretty good. So you can trap troll people. Ooh. Did you want to get killed, bro? All right, that was the jump scare. They lit the torch. I'll take care of doggy. Come here, doggy. Oh my God, what just happened to my body? <laughs> what? what why, why, watch this. Ah, ah, hey, hey, doggy. <laughs> Dude, there's something wrong with this. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, bro. What is wrong with him? He gets like separated. Also, there's a note here. If you guys haven't noticed, right under where you're supposed to put the candles, there's a note that says, do not draw the house with light it will draw him to oh that's basically explaining what you're doing so you're drawing a house is what's happening you're drawing a house with lights and once you do that now if you haven't noticed we'll go to the house map and show you this character is actually in house as well he's up on the roof if you didn't know, well, he's up on the patio, like the second level patio. This character's there. So what I think's happening is when you draw the house with the lights, it teleports him from the house to here, and then you've got to lead him somewhere else. But where does he go? We don't know. Okay, so he's lighting the candles. Here we go. Candles, one, two, all right. Oh, it is, it's a house. Okay, I see. So you draw the house and he appears from the house and comes here. Now you've got to get him to the cave. So there's some kind of backstory going on here about him and the house. And why was he at the house? And why? Did, and we drew him away from the house, I guess, to save Georgie. And then we're gonna boop, put him in there and he disappears and boom, the portal is gone. And now you win your, everybody in the game wins their skin. Now this one, Everybody in the game gets the skin if you're still alive. Not like the trap where only the person with the rose gets the skin. This seemed a lot uh, easier than the trap. The trap seemed kind of hard, but this does seem a lot easier. Now you don't have to finish the map at this point, you're done. Here's the mystery. Where does he go after this? Where does Stitch go? Does he go to another map? If we check other maps, will he be there? I'm not sure, or is there a portal? Or I don't know. Maybe this isn't over. Maybe there's something else to do. Or maybe there's a skin we don't even know about. I'm not sure. All right, now we're going to go show you how to get the witch and the pumpkin skin. All right, so the new skins are we have a hamster, some kind of Lady Bell hamster. And we have the witch goat. 
which is what I'm wearing here. We got a goat. You see the horns and the witch outfit with the broom. She actually rides the broom. It's pretty cool. And we have a scarecrow pumpkin head that has been stabbed by a pitchfork <laughs> through the heart. And there's actually a crow on the head. Now, you would like to know how to get these skins as well. You're going to follow a link in my description. You're going to follow my link. You're going to go to that game. As soon as you drop in, you're going to put in these codes, okay? you got some special codes you're going to type. Okay, the code you want to get for the Scarecrow is called Scarecrow October or OCT 2020. All capital letters. So you just want to type that in the chat and then you'll see the badge pop up and you'll automatically have the Scarecrow. And for the Witch, you're going to type Wicked Witch of Night, all capital letters. Now we're going to show the jump scares. The jump scare on the witch is not that scary. So the jump scare witch is like this. It just blows a little secret formula at you and you die. That's pretty much it. That's how you do the secret formula. All right. Now we're going to check out the jump scare of the pumpkin. <laughs> he just spins his head around. All right. There's also a skin of a hamster. And we're going to see the jump scare for this one. This one's pretty cool. She throws a knife. Whoa! Yeah, like a ninja, bro. Throw it again. That's pretty cool. I want to see the knife throw. I have commented multiple war crimes. Whoop! That is all the jump scares and the new special skins. If you want to get these skins, remember those codes and follow the link in my description. Shout out to Tenuous Flea who made these skins. He's an excellent skin maker. The Witch is my favorite skin of the whole Halloween update. You must check it out. And remember to like the video, subscribe, turn on notification bells as I am live every day. And remember, people, when you're looking for secret Halloween skins, stay lucky. Now, let me blow you a kiss. Mwah. <laughs>